All right, so I want to talk a little bit more about these um, similar triangles and uh, especially similar triangles when they're overlapping. But let's just start pretty basic here with similar triangles. Similar triangles. So one way that we're going to be able to tell if we have similar triangles is if we have two angles that are the same. Okay, so if I drew out these two triangles, I marked this angle and I marked that angle. As you can see, this angle is the same as that angle. And then the 90 degree angle is the same as the 90 degree angle. So as long as you have two angles that are the same, we have similar triangles. So a lot of the time we're going to be talking about this angle angle um, similarity. So if you have two angles then the triangles are similar. Now what does that mean? Well, that means that you have two triangles whose sides are in proportion. Okay, so that means that the sides are in proportion. to their corresponding side. To their corresponding side. So for instance here, let's say I said this was three, this was six, this was um, x, and this is eight. Okay, when you have similar triangles, you can just set up a proportion that relates these sides to one another. So for instance, I could say three, the left-hand side, is related to six, the right-hand side. So three is to six as the bottom x is to the bottom eight. Now, if you're gonna go from left to right, okay, for the first part, make sure you go left to right for the second part here as well. Okay, now we can very easily here just cross multiply. I could say, okay, 6 times x is equal to 8 times 3, which is 24. And then I would simply just divide by 6. And I'd get that x is equal to 6. Okay, Which makes perfect sense here, because 3 is half, um, I'm sorry, which is equal to 4. Uh, let's fix that here. Uh, so x is equal to 4, which makes perfect sense, because 3 is half of 6. 4 is half of 8 there, and that's it. Okay, um, next here, okay, let's uh, continue on and look at another example. Now, these were drawn the exact same way. What if they're not drawn the exact same way? How could we kind of figure this out? Okay, well, let's say we had that triangle, and we had this triangle, okay, and we had this, and we had these two angles were equal. Okay, so let's kind of fill in, so this would be example two here. Let's kind of fill this in and um, match up what, what sides we think line up with what. So let's say this is four. Um, let's say this is eight. Let's call this six. Let's call this x. And then let's go ahead and call this side. Um, what do we want to make that? Um, let's make it 9. Okay, so here we have two angles that are the same in our triangles. We had this angle is the same as this angle, and then we had this angle is the same as this angle up here. So when you're setting up a proportion, okay, one thing I, I suggest you do is you redraw the shapes so that they're, everything lines up. So like that this angle in the bottom left lines up with this angle in the bottom left here. So if I were to redraw this, I'm gonna flip it around and draw it so that it looks exactly like this, where we have the one angle and the two angle. So I want the yellow angle down here and I want the blue angle up here. Okay, so let's mark this up then. So between the yellow and the blue was a six. Between the yellow and the blue, I'm gonna put a six, okay? Um, the other side of the yellow, okay, I'm gonna put in the blue. So the other side of the yellow that's not six is this nine. So that goes down here, 
And then obviously the last side, which is just next to the blue, has to be 8. Okay. Now once we have them lined up, now it's very easy to just create a proportion here. So now I could just say, okay, well, 4, the top left, is related to 6, the top left. So we're going to say 4 is to 6 as the bottom, okay, which is x, is to the bottom, which is 9. So there's our proportion. 4 is to 6 as x is 9. Now, since I'm starting with the top triangle, I'm going top to bottom, then I need to go top to bottom. Keep that order the same. So when we go ahead and cross multiply this here, we're going to get 6x is equal to 9 times 4, which is 36. And then we divide by 6. So that gives us that x is equal to 6. Okay, so that's when you just have similar triangles in general. Now let's talk about what happens when we have these overlapping triangles. So number 3 here. Let's say we had this, and we had this. Okay. And we were looking at this as like 2, and we'll call this uh, 8. We'll call this little side here 6, and I want to know what this bottom side is. Now they're going to tell us that these two angles are the same, okay? or they'll give us two angles that are the same. And also you can see that both triangles share that top angle here. So again, with these similar triangles, when they overlap, I always recommend that you redraw them. So let's redraw this here. Okay, so we're going to draw that little top one, which has the sides of 2 and 8. Okay. Then I'm going to draw the big triangle, which I'll highlight here in green. Okay. The big triangle. Okay, so we're going to do that with green. So the big triangle here, okay, the bottom is x. Now what do we know? We know the whole left side here. Okay, the whole left side of the big green triangle is 6 plus 2, or 8. So the whole side there is 8. So we redraw these two triangles. And then all we need to do is set up a proportion with them. So if we're going to do this again here, and I should mark these angles, okay, I'm going to say like the top left 2 is related to the top left 8, okay, as the bottom of this one, 8, is related to the bottom of this one, which is x. So once you set up your proportion, you could just go ahead and cross multiply. So here we're going to end up with 2x is equal to 8 times 8, which is 64. And so then I could just simply divide both sides by 2. Divide by 2, and we get that x is 32. Okay, so if you redraw the triangles, this is definitely going to make this a lot easier here. Now, what happens, though, um, if we have a triangle when we're using the sides instead of the bottom. Well, let's take a look at something like that here. Okay, so for instance, let's say number four. My picture looks something like this. Okay, I'll use the same type of triangle here. And they gave me, this is six, and this is two. And then let's say this is nine, and this is x. Okay, and I wanted to know what that little x value was. Now, again, they'll give me two angles that have to be the same, or they'll tell me that these two lines are parallel or something, so that we know those two angles are the same. And again, we have this shared angle at the top here for this problem. Okay, so let's redraw the two triangles. So I'm going to start with this blue triangle here first. So I'm going to put that in blue. Okay, so that blue one was 6 on the left, 9 on the right. Okay, now we got to look at the big triangle here. Okay, so we're going to look at the big triangle on the outside. Now, on the left of the big triangle, this whole side is 6 plus 2, which would be 8 for that. The right-hand side here is the 9 from here to here, 
plus the x right there. So that's like 9 plus x. So now we have our two triangles here that we can set up a ratio. So let's just go ahead and do that. So we're going to say the top left is related to the top left as the top right, 9, is related to the top right, which is 9 plus x. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to go ahead and cross multiply this here. So we're going to do 9 times 8, which is 72, is equal to 6 times 9 plus x. Okay, now this one's a little bit more complicated because we do have um, a binomial term down here. But you still do the same thing. You just solve this out now. So we're going to distribute that 6 through. So we get 72 is equal to 54 plus 6x. Then I'm going to go ahead and minus off 54. Minus 54. And I guess this crosses off here. Um, and we're going to get 18 is equal to 6x. And then we just go ahead and divide by 6. And 18 divided by 6 comes out to be 3. So x would be 3 there. Okay. And that's all you're doing for these types of problems. So if you do have overlapping triangles like we had in this scenario, just make sure you redraw them as two separate triangles and fill in the sides here so that you know what ratio to set up. All right, I hope this helps, and um, if you have any more questions on this, feel free to let me know.